it's Nicole Cooper, your Austin area specialist for real estate, and we're back for another installment of what's going on in the Austin real estate market. Well, we are starting to see some changes. Things are starting to slow down, but don't think that they're getting like crazy different. I heard one analogy like this. Imagine if you're on the interstate speeding, speeding, speeding in a car and you just let off the gas a little bit. You're still going really fast. You're just not going quite as fast. So that's kind of what's happening here. So in our graph here, what we're seeing is the average sale price is coming down. So at our peak in April, we were at 111% over the original list price on average. This is for Austin. Now we're back down to 103% over list price. So 103% over list price is very, very high in a normal world. But in our post-COVID world, it, or COVID world, um, it seems that we're getting better, more normalized. Still a strong seller's market. The last two buyers I had were in multiple offer situations last week. However, the multiple offers are more like three to five instead of 15 to 30 offers on one property. I'm gonna show you this other graph here that kind of explains what's going on. So at the beginning of last year, at the beginning of 2020, we were off to a roaring start in the real estate market. We had plenty of supply and things were selling quickly. Then COVID hit, lockdown started, people took their houses off the market and didn't put any new ones on the market because of fear for the most part for a while. So we were so short of inventory for the rest of the year. And we still had a lot of buyers. People were still moving to town. So we had a huge bottleneck. At the beginning of the year, January and February, people typically never list their homes in January and February. And they did not again this year and put COVID on top of that. Look at this graph to see the inverse here of this of 2020 versus 2021. Then all of a sudden sellers started hearing, hey, I can make a whole ton of money if I can sell my house. As well as vaccines started coming out, people started getting more comfortable going in public. So the inverse on the graph flips to where now in 2021, we have more active listings than in 2020. Therefore, it is making this price a little less competitive or making the demand just a little bit lower. So will we see it normalize and get to a stable market by the end of the year? I don't think so. We're still under one month of inventory and recall five to six months of inventory is a stable market. So I see us staying in a seller's market. I just see it getting a little bit more easy for buyers to get under contract. Sellers are still in the driver's seat and probably will remain that way through spring, if not more. Um, I can't predict that far out. I, I lost my crystal ball last weekend. Anyway, guys, if you wanna know exactly what's happening in your neighborhood, as we know, real estate is hyper local, just let me know and I'll work it out for you. Until next time, guys, stay safe out there. It's Nicole Cooper, your Austin area specialist for real estate. Take care.